Ignatius of Loyola and his first companions did not originally intend to establish schools. But before long, they were led to start colleges for the education of the young men who flocked to join their religious order. In 1547, Ignatius was asked to open a school for any and all boys in the southern Italian town of Messina. By the time of his death, nine years later, 35 such colleges have been founded. Jesuit education today has grown to a worldwide network of schools, colleges, and universities spanning six continents and more than 125 countries. In the United States, there have been significant periods of founding and growth and transformation in Jesuit education. 75% of American Jesuit colleges and universities were founded during the 19th century. They served the needs of an immigrant people. After World War II, Jesuit higher education experienced enormous growth under the GI Bill, as did American higher education generally. This growth entailed a shift from a largely Jesuit faculty to one made up increasingly of non-Jesuit educators. In the mid-60s, Vatican Council II released a great burst of energy in the Catholic Church and Jesuit order for engagement with the modern world, including its intellectual life. In the 1970s and 80s, Jesuit schools moved to professionalize by hiring faculty with highly specialized training and degrees from the best graduate schools. Starting in the later 80s, mission and identity professionals were appointed to ensure the Jesuit educational practices and pedagogy, the spirit of the institutions, continued to permeate campuses. Today's faculty accompany students in their intellectual, spiritual, and emotional development by way of the Ignatian pedagogical paradigm a model that seeks to develop people with competence and compassion. Through the context of students' lives, faculty create an environment where students recollect their past experiences and assimilate information from newly provided experiences. They help students learn the skills and techniques of reflection and challenge them to action and service to others. The evaluation process includes academic mastery and the ongoing assessment of students' well-rounded growth as persons for others. The sweeping changes of the last 50 years have brought Jesuit schools to the present situation where we face important questions. For instance, while taking the best from American education and culture, how can we maintain the distinctiveness of Jesuit education, foster the integration of knowledge, develop a global cross-cultural imagination, relate learning to the transcendent, and recognize and work for the common good such as bettering the lot of the poor, the voiceless, and those suffering discrimination, protecting the earth and our environment, serving all faiths in a religiously and culturally pluralistic world, and to do all these in the spirit of our nation heritage.